show for today. The topic is current political and social situations on the continent of Africa, and we're talking to uh, Dr. Leonard uh, Madhu. Now, Dr. Madhu, uh, I think you've already indicated that uh, things are much better mm -hmm. in Africa than they have been in a long time, and let's uh, continue our conversation. Yeah, like I, like I was saying, uh, these elections this year, you know, have been uh, watershed, mm. you know, in, in a lot of African countries. And also in Togo, you know, they had their election mm -hmm. this year, which was uh, uh, adjudged to be free and fair mm -hmm. by the European Union and other international organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, President Yasimbe, you know, uh, got re-elected for that five-year term. Mm -hmm. uh, next year, some important elections are coming on. Uh, Nigeria will be voting in April uh, for president and senatorial and, you know, legislative seats. Mm -hmm. As you know, President Yaradua, you know, died uh, earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck, Jonathan, who was vice president, to go vice president. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jonathan wants to run, you know, for the next... Uh, president. Uh, as, as president mm -hmm. coming April on his own. Mm -hmm. But he's been challenged, you know, by, by some very powerful uh, contenders. Mm -hmm. uh, former military president Babangida wants to run again. Mm -hmm. uh, former vice president under Obasanjo, uh, Mr. Abubakar wants to run. Mm -hmm. And the former spy chief of the country, General Guzo, you know, wants to run mm -hmm. under the PDP, People's Democratic Party, mm -hmm. platform. And then, of course, you have uh, the former president, too, General Muhammad Buhari, mm -hmm. who also wants to run. So it's going to be a very interesting mm -hmm. election, mm -hmm. you know, for, for the country uh, next year. And, uh, and hopes are, and indications are that the election will be free and fair, mm -hmm. given the tensions and, uh, you know, things at stake. Mm -hmm. Also in Uganda, there will also be an important election next year in Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, President Museveni wants to run for re-election. Mm -hmm. He's been in power since 1985 mm -hmm. and still... He wants to, to continue. Mm -hmm. yeah, a few years ago, when he wanted to run, in fact, a lot of European mm -hmm. countries uh, wanted to break relations with, with Uganda mm -hmm. because they, they thought uh, it's time for him to go. Mm -hmm. Since 85? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. been there since Milton Obote was overthrown. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been there, you know, since 1985 mm -hmm. and has not given any indications mm -hmm. of, of leaving office. So he wants to run again mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. But the person challenging him this time has a lot of credibility. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, Mr. Olara Otuno, mm -hmm. he was former United Nations Under Secretary for Children mm -hmm. and also former Ambassador to the United Nations from, for Uganda. Mm -hmm. uh, he's running under the UPC banner, which was a party of our President Obote. Mm -hmm. of, 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 you know. So those are two interesting elections coming up next year. Mm -hmm. In Burkina Faso, uh, President Compaore mm -hmm. also wants to run for re-election. But he's been in power since 1987, <laughs> you know, and doesn't want to give up either. Mm -hmm. And uh, has gained a reputation for uh, having his opponents, you mm -hmm. know, killed. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he came to power over the, over the body of his best friend, uh, mm -hmm. Thomas Sankara. Mm -hmm. He was the person who organized the overthrow and assassination of Thomas Sankara mm -hmm. in, in 1987. Sankara was his best friend in childhood, mm -hmm. you know. And but he it was, didn't seem to matter. Exactly, it didn't seem to mm -hmm. matter. Thank mm -hmm. you. It didn't seem to matter when it came to that. He cold-bloodedly, mm -hmm. you know, assassinated Thomas mm -hmm. Sankara. Uh, so he's going to be running for re-election mm -hmm. again next year. And uh, indications are that he will win. You know, mm -hmm. Those who are opposing him, you know, won't get anywhere anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the belief in Burkina Faso mm -hmm. and the national circles. It's best to just let him <laughs> have it, have the election. And, and, <laughs> Well, now, how, how many years would, would, would he have if he were to, is there a, five a, years. another yeah, five-year term? Constitu yeah, constitutions normally have those times, but mm -hmm. either they change it themselves mm -hmm. or they just keep running. And whomever mm -hmm. wants to run, you get arrested and detained, mm -hmm. you know, for some spurious excuses. Mm -hmm. Then after the elections, you get released, mm -hmm. you know. So that's, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have, like Museveni. His term is normally five years, but every five years he runs again, mm -hmm. you know, intimidates his opponents mm -hmm. and moves on. Mm -hmm. Now, in Central Africa, you have General Bozize, mm -hmm. General Francois Bozize. Yeah, he wants to run for, you know, uh, re-election as president mm -hmm. of Central African Republic. He's one of the few remaining military 
heads of state or dictators, okay. as we call them, you know, in, in Africa. Uh, he overthrew the, the, the former, you know, president, you know, who was civilian elected and took over. So now he wants to run for re-election again. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have uh, President Yayi Boni in, in Benin Republic, mm -hmm. who's also running for re-election next year. Benin Republic is remarkable because it's one of the most stable mm -hmm. and democratic countries in Africa where elections are held and you know it's free and fair. Mm -hmm. So he holds that in, really in the West Africa region. Mm -hmm. mm, Benin well, it, comes first. It seems to me that all these individuals who wish to run for president, have they ever thought in terms of trying to run for president as, as a democratic, you know, to try to bring about democratic changes in there? Are there any reform, are there any reform candidates ever running for president <laughs> in, in, in Nigeria or in, in any of these I, you know, I don't mean to be facetious, but you know, I mean, oftentimes, you know, people want to improve things and et cetera. Rather than just uh, sitting there as sit, president, sit in the office. that's correct. Oh, yeah. your, your, your question is very relevant, and it really, and that's the problems a lot of the countries are having in Africa. Mm -hmm. It's not that they don't have the materials, mm -hmm. people to do it. They do, but a lot of uh, those who want to get into politics get frustrated mm -hmm. out of it mm -hmm. because of what they see. Mm -hmm. You know, some sometimes they have to rig it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have to give people money to change, uh, mm -hmm. you know, results without even you know, counting the votes, mm -hmm. all those things. So a lot of, uh, you know, Africans who have the intellect, mm -hmm. you know, to, to change things, like you said, mm -hmm. bring out reforms and changes, mm -hmm. are sidelined, mm -hmm. or they are scared of even getting to that mm -hmm. arena mm -hmm. because they know, you know, it's, it's life and death. Life and death. Yeah, mm -hmm. either you're getting killed or you just get arrested mm -hmm. on this and thrown in jail for all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's a very good question. Yes, a lot of them get, want to be president, mm -hmm want to be vice president, want to be prime minister, mm -hmm. just to sit there and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, normally you want, you'd expect somebody who wants to be president that to have some ideas of what, how to bring improve changes, things and improve and things. Economic. Feed folks. Exactly, <laughs> feed folks, build schools, and yeah. build hospitals, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and let people know what, what the government is planning to do mm -hmm. in the next four, five years, six years. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you never hear that. Mm -hmm. Like those running for election in Nigeria now, you can ask any of them to give you a manifesto. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do? Mm -hmm. How many schools are you going to build in the next five years mm -hmm. when you're in power? Mm -hmm. You know, how are you going to improve the electric situation in the country mm -hmm. in the next five years? How many jobs are you going to create mm -hmm. in the next one year, two, three, four, five mm -hmm. years? You know, how many places are going to have mm -hmm. uh, our schools? You know, none of that. Mm -hmm. Up till now, I've been searching none of that. Mm -hmm. They just want to be president. Mm -hmm. And because they have a population, you know, that is not very, very politicized mm -hmm. or not very well educated, mm -hmm. you know, to, to read between the lines, mm -hmm. then they can get away with it. Mm -hmm. Most of them won't even debate, mm -hmm. you know, to come on TV and sit and debate each other, let mm -hmm. people hear them talk mm -hmm. and say, no, no. They don't, no. Mm -hmm. A lot of them hide away from those things because mm -hmm. they don't even have any ideas mm -hmm. to tell the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only thing they want to do is be president or that's be in, 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 in a, a that's command correct. or whatever. Yeah, intimidate people and be mm -hmm. president and commander in chief of the armed forces mm -hmm. and all that day in and day out, you know. Mm -hmm. But tell them to give you a broad strategic, you know, proposals mm -hmm. of how you're going to change things. Mm -hmm. Like now mm -hmm. people in Nigeria want constant electricity, constant power. Mm -hmm. None of them have said, this is how I'm going to do it mm -hmm. in the next five years. Mm -hmm. Every village has, you know, will have lights. Mm -hmm. None of that, okay? Mm -hmm. Schools, a lot of schools now, a lot of students are on strike, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, be, by the time they go back to school, it will be one semester or two gone. Mm -hmm. How are you going to stabilize those kind of situations so mm -hmm. these things don't continue happening? Mm -hmm. Water, the country has huge water resources. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make sure that everybody in five years while I'm in power mm -hmm. has at least, you know, some, wa water. some water. water. Exactly, mm -hmm. some water. None of these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And in most of the African countries, the same. Mm -hmm. The politicians don't address the issues that people want mm -hmm. to know. Mm -hmm. So that's very Im important. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, Dr. Mundu, we're coming to the uh, end of the show for today. And uh, uh, what we're going to have to do is to uh, have you back and to uh, talk about the uh, United States initiatives in, uh, toward uh, mm -hmm. Africa because I think that that too is important. But I think what you've already laid out here is that Africa is coming back. Mm -hmm. But uh, once uh, uh, many of these individuals who are more concerned about uh, their own uh, personal political involvement mm -hmm. uh, develop some kind of initiative dealing with the people, you see, then I think that uh, we'll see a better uh, 
situation in Africa. But I certainly want That's to thank correct. you and, and tell you how much we appreciate you coming by and giving us that uh, information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.